Hey everybody, I'm Chris Fikes with Crave, and I'm here today with Ewan Cowie. Ewan is one of one of the best camera flyers in the world, at least in my opinion. I think he's I think he's pretty awesome. Um, so today we've got a quick tip for you guys, a quick tip tutorial. We're going to be talking um, about some of the hazards, the dangers of camera flying. So um, Ewan, what are like the you know everybody wants to jump with a camera. It's super fun. It's great to get you know, photos and videos and all that stuff, and um, we all enjoy that. But what are the what are the main things that you want people to be thinking about when they're um, whether they just started flying with a camera or they've been flying with one for years? What are the most important things for people to consider? Well, that's a pretty good question because actually I have a really ready answer for that, and and it's really the distraction factor. When you're flying with a camera, it basically takes some of your attention away from the jump. And if you're filming something, for example, that's really hard for you to fly in general, and then you add the extra distraction of jumping with a camera, it, it's going to increase the likelihood that you're going to make a mistake, and that's going to increase the likelihood that you're going to have an accident or cause an injury to yourself or others. So really, I think the distraction factor is a super important thing to take into account. Um, and this is uh, even more of an issue when you're starting out jumping. So if you're a low experience jumper, jumping a camera for the first time, you should really take care to jump in a situation that's really comfortable for you skydiving wise in terms of skill because you're adding a really big distraction factor on there that's going to take a lot of your attention. Yeah, that, that's good. Um, you know, it it's kind of sounds like, I'm, I'm going to say this, it sounds like the distraction factor, it sounds like it's not that important, like, oh, come on, distract, being a little bit distracted, so what? It's not that big of a deal, but I mean, it, it really is a, it, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, skydiving is a dangerous activity at the end of the day, and we come a bit blasé to it, mm -hmm. you know, as we jump more and more, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's a risky activity. Mm. So we should be doing everything to minimize that risk. But if you add a camera to your helmet, you're increasing the risk. Yeah. So, and it's not just to you, it's a risk to other people as well. You know, so really, for me, that's why, um, you know, I try and emphasize this as much as possible. If you're a new jumper and you're putting a camera on your helmet for the first time, you're going to be focusing on trying to frame the shot. But if your skills are really not there to begin with at skydiving and it normally takes all your attention just to skydive relative to other people, of course it's going to make that activity more risky for you and others. Really, uh, yeah, I can't emphasize that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, you know, in my mind, I, I compare it a little bit to like driving and paying attention to your phone. Exactly. Now, I mean, there is a difference because in skydiving, you're not actively looking at your camera, yep. but if your mind and your attention is split, or maybe all of your attention. Maybe you're completely thinking yeah. about the camera or the framer. It, it really is significant. I mean, yeah. and, and for driving, that you know, they compare it to if you're driving and texting, they compare it to driving while drunk. Like yeah. it's that much more dangerous and your, your reaction times, all those things. So I would think in skydiving, maybe it's not exactly the same, but that distraction factor is, is very significant. Yeah, no, for sure. That's a good example. If you think of it this way, you know, best case, you have 100% of your attention that you can focus on the skydive. If you, for example, are drunk, yeah, you're going to have less of that attention. It's the same if you're jumping a camera. You know, like, it's going to take 20, 30, 50, 90 percent of your attention to think about what you're filming. You're not looking at the back of your camera screen, but you're thinking, okay, is this going to look good on camera? Am I pointing my camera in the right direction? So that means you're not necessarily going to be aware of what's going on around you. You know, your peripheral vision, you're not going to be focusing on it. You might actually end up impacting with someone else because you didn't see them coming in your peripheral vision. Or something like that. So yeah, it's it's a really important factor. So even even as an experienced skydiver, experienced camera flyer, it's still possible to be distracted yeah, by sure. by a camera. Are there any anything? What do you do to try to kind of control that distraction or, or mitigate so that you're not as easily distracted? Are, are there things that you prep before a jump, or what, how do you try to yeah. kind of deal with that? Now, that's a good question. Um, and there are things you can do to minimize the, the risk or the distraction factor. Uh, and these are mainly preparation. So you should always go up as a camera flyer with an idea of what kind of shot you want. So that should mean you know the plan of the jump and you know where you want to be at each point of that jump. So you can visualize this uh, on the way up. And that means that in some ways you've already prepared your body for what you're going to do. And that gives you more attention span to deal with the framing and also maybe be aware of where the other people are in the jump. Mm. Have, have you ever had to abandon a shot and not get what you wanted 
because you were running out of time or some other something else was going on because that's happened to me before where I, I was trying to get n not that I'm like you know a camera flyer but you know you still jump with your friends and you're trying to get a shot you're trying to get something and you're so focused on that that like you said I want that shot so bad and I get distracted and next thing I know yeah. I should have been breaking off or yeah. something like that you know yeah, so so abandoning a shot that you have to be willing to do that, is that right? For sure. Like, at the end of the day, safety is always more important than getting the shot. So, yeah, an example where I would have had to abandon a plan is if I was following an organizer on breakoff because I want to film their opening. If I can see that the organizer has somebody above them that they're going to have to wait before they deploy for that person to deploy, and then if I'm following them and filming the organizer's opening, I have to wait for them to open before I can open. So if I can see that situation coming, then I just abandon that plan and go and do a normal break off because I know I'm gonna be super low and potentially I might cause the organizer to pull too early mm. and cause a problem with the guy above them. Yeah, nice, awesome. Well, Ewan, thank you very much. I hope, hope that's been helpful to you guys. Um, a little bit different tutorial or tip than, than normal, but still really, really important. Um, I think it's gonna make us all safer better skydivers. If you want to learn more about camera flying, about these types of things, we've got a Crave course with Ewan. Um, it's on the website. It'll be coming out pretty soon. It's a great course. He's, he's covering a lot of great content. What are, just real quick, what are a couple of things that you're covering in the course? So I talk uh, about everything from setting up your camera helmet to uh, filming tandems, filming angle jumps, VFS, uh, vertical records. Uh, safety in general is a huge part of this course. And yeah, many other topics. Yeah, so go to the website. It's cravetofly.com. Check out Ewan's course. I, I really think you'll enjoy it. You'll learn a lot of great stuff. Um, you'll be a better camera flyer and a safer skydiver. So go check it out, and uh, we'll see you in the sky. Crave, do more, be better. Thanks, Ewan.